Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing morning. What an opportunity and what a time and what a blessing that the Lord has allowed us to have this morning to listen to his word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because you love us and you care so much for us that you can minister to us every day. We don't take anything for granted. We just pray that through this opportunity God sent that you continue to bless our lives. You will continue to lift us from one glory to another in the name of Jesus. I bow before you this morning. I appreciate you and I give you all the adoration in the name of Jesus. I give you glory and I honor you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning. I would like to speak about a subject the Lord has laid in my heart. Uh, favor is all I want. Favor is all I want. I want to begin by saying favor is, is described as approval, support, or liking for someone or something. It also described as an act of kindness beyond what is usual or due. Praise the name of the Lord. An act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. So I speak this morning about favor and specifically favor from God. Now I want to talk about an example of favor. I read the Bible in the book of Psalms chapter number 90 and verse number 16 and 17. The book of Psalms chapter number 90, reading from verse number 15 through, actually starts from verse number 13 to verse number 17. O Jehovah, come and bless us. How long will you delay? Turn away your anger from us. Satisfy us in our earliest youth with your loving kindness, giving us constant joy to the end of our lives. Give us gladness in proportion to our former misery. Replace the evil years with good. Let us see your miracles again. Let our children see glorious things, the kind you used to do. And let the Lord, our God, favor us and give us success. May he give permanence to all that we do. Ladies and gentlemen, these scriptures we have read are full of expectation from God. It's a call up to God to revive the things that he did in the lives of our people in the old and revive it in our time. But I specifically, I specifically pick up favor. And as I have described to you, favor is an act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. Favor is where you're given something or some, 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 some uh, you know, approach is made towards you even when you did not have the qualification. And, and I want to tell you that God in many times has always wanted to favor our lives. You know, have you ever gone to a place and things are done to you and you, you know for sure you did not merit, you did not merit the kind of consideration, the kind of, you know, acceptance the kind of welcome that you're given, you know you did not qualify. It's only by favor. Sometimes you have appeared in places and things have been done to us and we have realized for sure this was favor. If it was not God who clothed us with favor, there are things we would never have heard in our lives. There are things we would never have done in our lives. It is simply because we were favored. And this is something I want to explain. Even the very basic reason that we have come to God 
us being the Gentiles, we have been favored. You can interchangeably use the word favor and love, but favor is an act of kindness towards a person or individual that was not due. Now, if you say somebody has passed their exams and it's indeed true that they have passed their exams, then that is favor. That is not favor. It's just simply because they have done their work and they have passed the exam. So it is just as a result of their work. It is not favor. But there are things that we get in our lives that have got absolutely to do with favor. We did not qualify. Now, when Mary is being appointed to be the one who will bear Jesus Christ, he says, Mary, you are highly favored among women. It means even other women would have been given an opportunity to bear Christ. But Mary was favored above all the other women. Praise the Lord. And so, when you are favored, it is important for us to realize that we cannot pride ourselves. <coughs> excuse me. We cannot pride ourselves by virtue of the favor that we have received. The more we are favored, the more we should humble ourselves. The more we are favored, the more we should seek the face of the Lord. The more we are favored, the more we should be found at the feet of Jesus, continuing to worship him and interceding and praying that he can continue to lift us from one glory to another. I'm talking about favor is all I want. Favor will open doors. Favor will open grace towards you. Favor will open provision. Favor, favor, favor. He says, and let the Lord God favor us and give us success. May he give permanence to all we do. Permanence. Now, I want you to know that it's important that when you're favored, then whatsoever we receive from God ought to remain, ought to be permanent. I love a song that says, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Praise the name of the Lord. We are praying that the joy that the Lord is favoring us with will be permanent. We are praying that the children the Lord has blessed us in our families will continue to grow and be permanent and extend that they will grow and, and be able to reap what God has blessed in their path for them to reap in the name of Jesus. It will be permanent. I'm talking about favor is all that I want. Now, if you look at favor deeply, you would understand that even the calling of some of us is basically because of favor. What do I mean? We were not the most qualified. We ask ourselves, why would God use us? Why would God bless our lives? Why would God challenge us to do the things he's asking us to do? Why would God allow men to support the ministry? Why would God have this ministry in the hearts of people, why would that happen? It's basically favor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Favor. Hallelujah. Favor. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. We must appreciate that when we have got the favor of the Lord, even great doors that we would never access will open. Oh, hallelujah. Favor is all that I want. Because when you have the favor of God, even the would-be enemies, they will melt in your presence. Praise the Lord. Even when people strategize against your life, favor will carry you through in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even when things would ideally have gone the wrong way, favor will help us. Favor will be able to help us to appear in the presence of the Lord in a special way. Favor. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm saying favor is all that I want. Praise the name of the Lord. Favor is all that I want. And I want to tell you that if we understand how to position ourselves in the hands of God, as the writer of the book of Psalms has told us, let us see your miracles again. 
Let our children see glorious things, the kind you used to do. And let the Lord our God favor us and give us success. May he give permanence to all that we do. I love this scripture. I want the favor of God. I desire that the Lord will favor me, that the Lord will favor you. Because sometimes even with your strength, even with your intellectual ability, there are things you'd never do except if the Lord's favor is upon you. Brothers and sisters, it is favor that will cause us to go to nations. It is favor that will cause us to do ministry in an easy way. It is favor that will cause people to bless the work of our hands and our ministries. It is favor that will cause us to rise up in power. It is favor that will be granted to create an impact in our community, in our society, in the name of Jesus. It is the favor of God. I want you to reread this scripture again and again. Read the whole of Psalms chapter 90 again and again. And you would realize that it takes the hand of God for us to move basically by his favor being upon our lives. Favor, as I've told you, is an act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. What you can get because you qualify is not favor. What you get because you have worked hard for is not favor. I'm talking about when acts of kindness are thrown in your path beyond what is due or usual. I want to decree favor in your life. I want to decree favor in your marriage. Decree favor in your place of work. Decree favor in your ministry. Favor in your business. Favor, favor, favor is what I decree in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord lift you. May the good Lord favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. May your children be favored. Everything. May your business be favored. Everything you set out to do, may it be favored in the name of Jesus Christ. Because favor is all I want. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for teaching us about favor. We take time to meet upon Psalms chapter number 90. We give you glory this morning and we exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. This has been your host and your servant, Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the scripture prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Shalom. The good Lord be with you and the good Lord bless you. Amen and amen.